Hello and welcome. This is Alchemist X, and this is the weekly update for September 16th. So I'm sorry this is out so late. I have not been feeling too great the past couple of days. Yesterday I was like conked out from medicine, but I'm starting to feel okay now, at least well enough to do this. So this week, the big new thing is the unit Irene, and as well as a memento for her, and that memento is normal pool, so I'll be worth remembering later on in the banner review. So what she is like is she is like Phantom of the Kill Minerva and Hercule in that she's a mounted unit so all the same perks apply there with not being affected by panels, uh, 99 jump, etc. And then she's also got the same gimmick of getting 100 CT after certain moves kill an opponent and then the next turn the m certain moves won't have a skill use count. So definitely pretty awesome there. I just I like the mounted units in general but I would not call Irene must have especially because she's a dark unit. Um, I have to say, I am really weirded out by the release schedule lately, be not just because of the Gate 7 stuff, I, you know, I'm, I'm over that at this point, but like, just as far as like what units are getting released, like getting like two water slashes in really quick succession, now, now we're getting two dark units, um, I mean, Yura was mostly pierced, but she did also have missile, now we're getting another dark missile, it's a little odd to me, I wish they spaced it out a little bit more. But that's a minor thing. And then, actually, one other thing is that um, Bashini didn't get his Gate 6. I'm just very confused by that decision. I'm, I'm wondering if they're just going to wait until Gate 7 pops and then do them both at once. But, ah, uh, that is just weird to me. But with that, let's get into the content. Okay, so just real quick reminder, for the rest of this week... The D'Artagnan event is still running, and if you haven't gotten that job plus, I definitely recommend it. It's very, very handy. Just a good good unit, solid all around. And then Mobius as well for the rest of this week. So you can get an awesome free unit from doing that, as well as just a ton of gems. So even if you don't care about Gilfred or his memento, the, the gems and all the materials you get alone is definitely worth it. Um, so yeah, def I would definitely honestly prioritize finishing Mobius above anything else because the Bashini and Irene event will be around for another week. Unless you're trying to transmute Irene, then I would get the Irene shards as fast as you can, then focus on Mobius. There's also another returns quest, and this one gives crafted mallets, and those are very, very, very valuable, so I definitely recommend doing that level if you're able to. But now let's take a look at the new special quest. So it's just a normal box event. Uh, mostly noteworthy because you can get 25 Irene shards and if you're trying to transmute that means you only need 100 from the shop and may maybe less than that if we'll go over that a bit more in the banner review. Uh, so just standard do the quests and fight the bosses as usual. The boss is a little bit of a pain so I, I definitely recommend checking out some videos just because panels are involved and some jewel damage is involved as well but there's definitely some good clears out there. And yeah, that is about it for the content this week. So let's go ahead and take a look at the banners. Okay, so here we are at the banners. Um, there's a free one you should do every day. Um, I had it included in one of my recordings, but that one didn't work out, so it's gone now. So there are four Grand Summons, two of which are just limited to the weekend. And unless you are a giant whale, I don't recommend any of them, just because... Not enough guarantees or too, ma too much chance of getting something you could easily get, you know, for free. Um, as far as the Irene one, I'm going to save this one for last because I have the most to say about it. For the special 10 summons, if you're new and you just really want to do some summoning, you're missing, especially if you're missing a lot of normal pool mementos, this might be worth your while. Um, but I wouldn't recommend doing every single step at all because I, I think that'd be a waste of gems. But a 500 here and there... Could be good for rounding out a collection. For more um, like veteran players, though, I'd, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend this one at all because of the above banner. just makes it redundant. This one, I think, is going to be a skip for most people. However, if you really are you're just ride or die <laughs> when it comes to Irene and you don't have Bashini's Limited, then it, then it might be worth your while at least to go a little bit into this one. But it's just worth remembering that her memento is normal pool, so I wouldn't feel a rush on that. Um, if you're really into Bashini, you're like just waiting for his gate 6 and 7 to come out. Actually, that's me. <laughs> I really want him to get upgraded. Um, this memento is pretty important for him, especially because his normal pool memento is really good too because of Sully Blade of Justice. Uh, it's just criminal that he does not have access to gate 6 yet. 
Um, most people, I think, don't need to do this, though. I don't think anybody should do this one. I, I love Hazel's design, but that's the only memento worth going for on this one. And you could get it other ways. Like, for example, if you got really lucky, you could get it here. So for this one, this could be a great way to spend some discount tickets, especially if nothing else interests you. The only thing to take note of is that there's not going to be any mementos on here from after June. So I would take a look at the update history. I'll put a link to that in the description um, because, you, you know, you don't want to pull on this and be like, oh, wait, no, that one came out in July. Never mind. Because otherwise the format I definitely think is perfectly good. So, yeah, let's talk about the unlimited Irene step. So. I feel really bad for not really jumping on this when it fir when the change first happened. I guess there was no units I was particularly interested in, and I apologize for that. I also apologize for misrepresenting how easy it is to transmute units, because I guess when I've transmuted, I've maybe I've had good luck. I've I've only had to dip into the three hundred a few times. Uh, usually, I chose to transmute units where that um, extra twenty five shards from a box event was provided. Um, I normally have never transmuted ones where you only where you had to provide 125. So some people are going to be really unlucky, and that sucks. So, but let's talk a little bit about costs. So, because a selector is involved here, that means you can get 25 shards covered. Now, no matter what you do, unless you have three discount tickets, um, it's going to be more expensive than the Louis shop. If you have three, then you can pop in 1500 get your 25 shards and you're definitely better off doing that. So if you really want Irene and you've got three discount tickets, do this 100%. If you've only got two discount tickets, it still might be worth your while depending on how unlucky you are in the shop. So as far as costs go, if you want to transmute, and in this case you have to provide 100 shards, the, the base cost is 8,000. And then if you do every 100 reset, that's going to add 1,400 to the base cost. And if you did every 300, that would be like 4,200, I think. I think it's, I'm assuming it's two each. I, I don't do that many refreshes. So I've only even ever gotten to 600 like once. So I apologize if the number of total refreshes, if I get that wrong, but you know, just add however much it costs to that. Like, I don't remember if it's two 300s or three 300s. And honestly, I, I'm not as worried about it because hopefully nobody has to go that far. But uh, if you were to just rely on this, you got two discount tickets, let's assume, then that's going to cost you 26,000 gems. If you did the max number of refreshes up to 600, that's still going to cost you less than that. So I don't think that running this banner exclusively until you have enough shards to transmute is a better alternative. But I do think supplementing maybe one or two laps with this to make up for really bad shop RNG could be viable, especially doing one lap. But yeah, that is about it. Um, I definitely would be happy to answer any questions about that in the comments. And uh, also, um, if, if, anyone, if I'm wrong on any of that arithmetic, for sure, definitely let me know. But that is all for the weekly update this week. If you are summoning, good luck. If you're transmuting, even more good luck. And I will see you all next time.